I think I wondered to myself, what does a career mean? Because um, when I think back, I see a kind of organic path where often one's just taking the path of least resistance. But there are always certain moments where one is forced to make a decision. I would say when I started working as an architect, I realized that a career as an architect and a love for architecture is not the same thing. You, you find yourself working for the construction industry, you find yourself censoring your ideas, you find yourself, of course, as a young architect, you're designing toilet details. You know, it's, it's not exactly very inspiring. And then after graduating in South Africa as an architect, I met my partner from Finland. And all of a sudden, I was making a complete flip in my life by deciding to move to Finland, which had never been part of my plan. Well, I never had a plan, really. And so I came to Finland, and luckily I had um, applied for the rights to be an, a guest student at Aalto University. So actually I stopped studying architecture and I just focused on learning the Finnish language, which has been very important for the rest of my career here in Finland, because if you don't have a network, if you don't have a language, then you get treated as an outsider, unfortunately. Certainly that was true back in the 90s. Uh, but then, luckily, I was able to get work in a big architectural office in Helsinki. And in fact, the one reason I was accepted for that job was because I had experience as a set designer. So, set design is something I'd started in the 90s, working with my partner, who was a choreographer. So, in some ways, the, the work as a, as a scenographer, as a set designer, kept me going while I was adapting to my new life in Finland. Luckily, it was a big company that was ready to train their own employees to understand more about environmental management and about um, the assessment of the sustainability of buildings. So that gave me a new competency on my CV and it was then the next step which helped me to get a job at Alta University as a researcher. So I carried on doing that for another five years and that certainly gave me a much broader interest or, or much broader understanding of my work. It took me further away from architecture but it gave me the possibility for my next job at the Ministry of Environment. It supported the idea of, of, of a generalist where you can combine art, you can combine natural history, you can combine science, you can combine all these things in, in a synthesis of many different ideas. Yeah, somebody once said that after you turn 50, you should only work four days a week, uh, which I quite understand because one has accumulated many, many ideas. One has a lot of experience. One cannot quite often react very quickly. One doesn't have to reinvent things the whole time, so one can draw from one's experience. And one needs more time to, to balance home and work. One needs more time to recover, to look after one's body, um, and also to allow space for other things to happen. My mother was an art teacher, so I've always been brought up to, to make things and invent things and decorate things and uh, but when I started working being invited of course first by my, my partner to do some sets for work work of his I realized that it's, it's, it's fascinating because uh, you get invited into teams where you have very different people with very different skills working together we're all multitasking there we have very little resources so you really do learn how to make a extremely effective, extremely creative process with a very specific outcome. You know your deadline is your premiere. At that point, there's no messing around. So it's a very tough business. If I were to win 100 million euros and never had to work again, I would probably take a holiday. So I really wouldn't have need for all that amount of money. Um, so definitely I'd have to find somewhere to invest that money, donate it. 
find a good use for it.